Hello geographers, today I am coming to you from the north of Scotland and we've got a topic that's going to blow you away. Hello geographers, I'm here today in the north of Scotland and I'm about to show you one of the first solutions to climate change that we're going to look at in class, okay? Can you tell what it is yet? It is slightly behind me. There we go. So look at the size of these bad boys. Massive! And if you look in that direction over there, there are some more that are a little bit more active. And the ones over this side are just starting to wake up. And get a bit more active. So if we're thinking about climate change, if we're thinking about greenhouse gas emissions, how do these giant structures help us to combat climate change? So instead of relying on fossil fuels to generate electricity, these structures rely on the wind. Now what the wind does is it turns the turbines try and find some that are moving. It turns those turbines which internally inside it turns a rotor and inside that it turns a generator and it generates electricity. Okay now what's good about that is that there's no emissions. It relies on a natural resource that is renewable. Okay, so we're, we don't have to wait hundreds of millions of years for more coal, oil or natural gas to develop. The wind is always available and up here in the north of Scotland it is readily available as well. There's lots of wind so they pick these locations where there are or where there is a lot of strong wind, perhaps not right now. So in higher geography, we have to think about the effectiveness of any solution that we have for a problem. So how effective have these wind farms been? Why are they effective? How are they helping us as a society? Well, one of the things we could talk about is that they create jobs. Um, building these structures and maintaining them is going to create jobs. Okay. They also run on free energy. Okay, so coal, oil, gas can be quite expensive to extract. Wind is free. Scotland is quickly becoming one of the cleanest countries in the world in terms of the type of energy it uses, and that's because we are using this renewable energy. Some of the issues people have with these wind farms is that they don't look very attractive, that's an opinion, and that they spoil the natural scenery of the landscape. And that is something that we'll look at when we do land use conflicts, but remember that people don't like the way that they look they think that it spoils the natural scenery although that opinion is becoming less and less common what do you guys think do you guys think that this spoils the landscape i think it looks quite beautiful actually some people also think that the wind farms are quite noisy Sounds pretty quiet to me. Some environmentalists have also been concerned that the blades of the structure that spin round can actually be quite dangerous to things like birds and bats.
Now, these wind farms are on land, but there has also been a lot of investment in building these wind farms in the sea. A couple of miles offshore, or even hundreds of miles offshore, we can build these wind farms where they're a bit more out of sight. Okay, geographers, that's it for this week. If you liked this video or want to give me some feedback, please feel free to do so. Thank you.